of the recently concluded fourth Idea Space Foundation startup competition received equity free financing to the tune of 1 million pesos. One of the winners, Taxumo, aims to help freelancers not to stress over taxes. To tell us more, we have one of the founders, EJ Arboleda. Hi, EJ. Okay, Hello. so Taxumo, I hear that your mascot is a sumo wrestler. So tell us how, what is Taxumo all about and how does that connect to a sumo wrestler? Okay, it doesn't really connect to a sumo wrestler, but um, Taxumo is a mobile and web app that aims to automate taxes for people. Um, one of the things that we want to do is we want to make taxes as easy to do as possible. And we hope, you know, that uh, that's the reason why we have a sumo wrestler. We're associating it with something that's, that's more fun, more cartoony. Um, so that's more All right, taxes, yeah. easy, fun, cartoony, not exactly along the same lines exactly, in my yes, case. So um, please tell us, how does Taxumo do that? Do people go have to go online? What do they mm, do? Fill out a form? Yes, that's right. Um, well, they do have to go online because it's a mobile and web app. Um, and uh, it, they can connect Taxumo to their existing uh, financial software or they can use a rudiment, rudimentary accounting software that comes with it. And then Taxumo does three things mainly. First is that um, it, it helps, uh, it creates the tax forms automatically. So in just one click, it gets all that data, puts it in all the complicated forms. So no need to be overwhelmed by the forms, right? So second, you can pay and submit directly through the app. So no need to line up anymore at the bank or at the government office. And lastly, we use machine learning to, um, to optimize the tax costs. So we're helping the users uh, pay the least taxes that they have to pay. So would it be, would it be accurate to call it a virtual accountant? Um, or? Yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but but no, it's not really an accountant because um, it does the tail end of things. Okay. It does the everything, all the transactions related to taxation. Now, when it comes to fees, mm -hmm. does Taxumo charge fees when it comes to availing of its services? Yes, uh, we're seeing that we're probably charging around 2,000 pesos a month uh, when we do start out. But right now, we're in beta, so everything is offered for free. So people can sign up now and they could get that off, uh, get that get that offer for now. But once you start charging, how about those who already signed up? Do they get mm. to still use it for free, or do they get oh, to well, charge? Oh well, eventually, of course. This is an introductory thing that we're you know we're using to get people to try it out. But yeah, eventually we will see what we can do. But when it comes to you know deadlines, you're going to mm. have a surge of people using it online. Yes. Are you able? Is it capable of handling? A the, big the number load. of people, yes, the load. Yes, definitely. Um, so we have everything loaded onto a cloud platform. So we can optimize on the fly. Um, we can increase servers on the fly on demand uh, as we see the, the number of users coming in. Now you just got one million pesos after winning. Of one of being the top, one of being the ten winners from that yep. space. Where is that one million going? Oh well, a lot of it is going to go into development because, as I said, we're just launching a beta version, so we will want to launch the full functionalities of the app. Okay, what's the target date for that? Oh, the target date is um, by uh, October. So that's the October target of date. this year. Yeah, that's a full launch. Okay, so go on. Where else will that one million go to? Um, aside from development, it'll also go to marketing because we do want to partner with DTI, get into the negotiation centers, and offer our services as the businesses are created. Now, when it comes to startups, always a question of two things: sustainability. Mm and growth. Yes. Now, how do you intend to address those particular challenges when it comes to startups? All right. So, um, in terms of sustainability, um, I think we have a lot of experience on that. We, uh, a lot of the founding partners came from more than 10 years of experience in you know, the corporate world. So, we do know how to sustain a business. Um, also, we are seeing, you know, we are very much pricing ourselves against the market, making sure that it's something that the users will use. So, that's in terms of sustainability. Now, in terms of growth, um, we are seeing there's also a lot of ancillary services that we can offer um, th to add value to the users. What would be those type of ser services we can look forward to that you will be adding? Mm, like for example, um, if they want more detailed um, uh, uh, discussions with accountants, we can offer that meeting with accountants. Al also, if they want to um, work with tax lawyers eventually, that you know, if, if for example, uh, if, if unfortunately they have cases, for example, we can refer them to uh, to tax lawyers, and you know, we can help them that way. All right. So the BAR always the system of the BAR seems to always bog down when it comes to submitting applications online. Mm -hmm. Do you also guarantee that your system will not back down when, bog down when people start using it? Understood. Yeah, uh, we won't because uh, we do have contingencies in place to make sure that we take those um, unfortunate uh, events uh, in, uh, in consideration. All right, we look forward to your launch. Thank you very much, EJ, for Thank joining you. us.